Virginia Bourbon. We did bourbon, winning double gold at the San Francisco Spears competition. Is that right? Yeah. Well, let's see if it lives up to the name. Take a trip to Virginia with us. Try out some uh, Ragged Branch. Yes, sir. Hey y'all, welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. And today we have a uh, double gold medal winning weeded bourbon, as stated before, mm -hmm. from Virginia. Um, we've done Ragged Branch before. Right. We're we fans. Did. Yeah, we did the uh, signature bourbon, right? Yep. The signature double oaked and then the uh, red wine finished bourbon as well. Right. Both fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, we do know that you know this is in the in the hills. It's a little bit of a trip. Uh, anything you really want to know about Ragged Branch, go ahead and check out the video that Nick's gonna put somewhere up here. That'll be the signature bourbon because yeah. I think that's what we kind of talk yep. more about yep. the the info and the history behind Ragged Branch, yep. all that stuff. But when it comes to bourbon, you don't really think of Virginia. No, definitely not. I no. It, most people think Kentucky. Yeah. So, so um, tasting this again, and it's not, it's just your straight, you know, weeded bourbon. Yep. So we, I'm expecting something similar to like maybe a Weller or a, a Larceny, mm -hmm. something kind of sweet, you know, yeah. something like that. Yep. Uh, where am I going here? Virginia's 2019 Distillery of the Year okay. was Ragged Branch. So right. they have notoriety within their state. Now they're kind of getting more national attention. We're seeing the grant, the, bland, blah, 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 the brand grow. Uh, let's see. Interesting fact I just read on this bottle. What's that? They feed the grain that's left over from the distilling process to their to their cows and to oh. their uh, and to their hogs, so nice. that's kind of a cool deal. Yeah, they use all their own stuff, right? Yep, they grow everything locally. on their farm. Yep, right. Yep. Yeah, very cool place. Most beautiful distillery scenery that I've ever seen, mm -hmm. uh, and probably one of the best in bourbon. So we'll stop talking about Ragged Branch because we've already covered this. Yes. Um, Go ahead and uh, pour some, yeah. dude. Let's do it. So you said it's ninety proof, right? <laughs> it is four years. Uh, yes, it is. Four years. Batch four, bottle nine fifty three. Not a single barrel. No. Those ones are the later. Um, I think that the bottom. I can bond smell it wafting over here, dude. Is, I think it's the bottom bond is the single barrel. All those. That's good. These are not bad. R B Ragged Branch. Wood top. Real cork. Uh, real cork. Love that. That's what we'd like to see. Sorry, my bad. No, I'm, I'm really fucked up today <laughs> on everything. Here. Already? Alright. What do we know, Nick? Oh, we, said what, we said yeah. what we know. <laughs> What's the color look like here? Nice caramel. Light, light gold. Gold caramel color. Mm, not bad. See that right there? Not too shabby looking. Really clear. If there's any uh, background noise, we apologize. This is not a professional grade production. This is just two friends reviewing whiskey in a warehouse slash garage. Yep. So, and, please uh, excuse us. Yep. A little technical difficulties today. Yeah. We tried to get the lapel mics working, but they would not work. So, now we're stuck with our $15 shotgun mic. So. Now, Cassandra did give me some struggles. some notes on this, which yeah. I'll tell you. Uh, You've had it before, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what do oh, you yeah, think I've of your initial... I can't say anything yet. Say anything no, yet? we're okay. going to talk about it as we go because the pours that I've had have been since like the first one was when the bottle first opened, which socked neck pours are normally pretty. Either it's going to be great at the neck pour and it'll just get better, or it's like you just got to let eh. air out. You yeah, get, get rid of that neck pour first. This, this one's neck pour was not great. Okay, but last night I did notice a little bit of a difference. We'll get into that. All right. So the legs, it's a little warmer outside. Yeah, so. they come down freaking thick and quick. Yep. Look at those things, man. Those things are huge. They are, damn. Yeah, I got a big one over here. Yeah, this thing is not cloudy at all. No, it's, uh, it's, it's very clear. clear. Yeah. Let's yeah. Uh, give it a sniff. All right. 
It smells good. It smells I get like, a lot of grain. I get a little bit of chocolate. There is the tobacco scent that comes out of there. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what that you is. Take like a pinch of freaking like old or like a red man, red man, or, or um, um, mail pouch or anything. What's like it that. called? A uh, Johnny Black or Johnny? I don't even know. It's a uh, pipe tobacco. Okay. That's what I smell. Yeah, it's like the same scent. You know, your your traditional um, tobacco yeah. scents. Even if you don't smoke, you should take like a pinch, put it up to your nose, and see what we're <coughs> talking about here. Get a uh, hint of cherry as well. Mm. I get grapes, like like fermented grapes. Okay. Like more of like a like wine. a like a brandy sort of thing. Yeah. I've never had brandy, so oh, I don't. brandy's fermented wine. So doesn't smell terrible. It's just different. It's unique. Uh, oak does come through, but it's very like it's a light oak. Yeah, it's um, it's got that interesting nose on it. I do smell corn. I kind of get like a Flintstone vitamin sort of thing. A touch mm. of it. All right, let's uh, not talk about it. All right, let's be about it. So. Let's be about. It. Cheers. Mm. Wow, the palate is totally different than the nose. It First is. thing I will say is oak. It is oak and it is sweet. It's kind of good. A lot of uh, grains, cereal. Mm. This is definitely better than the other day when I had it. Yeah. The other day I was like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Today, pretty good. It's nice. Uh, little little bits of like some some honey in there. Some honey, some a little bit of orange in there. Mm-hmm. Um, vanilla. That oak is like so nice. Because it's all you, it's really like overpowering though, in a way, like it's all you taste, really. Like I don't get it's a like whole the, lot of oak. No? I get a lot of honey, a lot of orange, and a lot of vanilla. Now, what Cassandra said that she got on this, on the scent and on the palate was tobacco. Mm-hmm. On the nose for sure. Uh, for me, the palate does not bring out memories of tobacco. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little bit of leather. Like a leathery, like that when you first get your baseball glove and it kind of smells like how this fresh tastes. leather yeah, it's got like a weird kind of taste and scent to it yeah the smell or yeah the smell is a lot different than the taste the taste is a lot sweeter than the smell mm -hmm. it's got a nice healthy burn going down it honestly <clears throat> if you didn't tell me what this was on the proof i would easily say probably 100 maybe 105 um it just drinks hotter than I think 90. It does drink a little hotter. I'd say around 100 too. Cuz 90s usually go straight down. But this there's a little heat to it, but it's not overbearing. Very pleasant, honestly. It is. I don't know if I'd give it like a to me that uh double oaked should have been a double gold medal winning. This one it is complex. It definitely changes as it goes. Um but I don't know if I would give it double double gold. I would probably say maybe gold medal. Um, I'm getting the oak now. Yeah, it's this is good though. This is very tasty. It's like a like an orange candy vanilla thing, mm -hmm. and then the oak kind of finishes it off. This a tastes little bit. a little bit like a slow and low. Yeah, I can with see like that. that that tangy like that old fashioned orange. kind of feel. Yeah. yeah, this would probably make a killer old fashioned. I probably would, dude. Yeah, I would recommend it for that or just sipping on it. I think uh, this time of year is probably the right time to be sipping on it in the spring. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't really say anything too bad about it. No, it's pretty it's, good. It's complex in its own way. It like, is. The, the fact that it, it kind of takes you one way and then jerks you back, excuse me, jerks you back the other uh, is something that doesn't happen too much to us in bourbon. Normally it's like kind of like, okay, Same kind hit of it thing. here, hit it here, hit it here. This is just... It's like kind of like a roller coaster ride. It goes bzz, 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 bzz. like, hey, what the hell just happened? <laughs> yeah. It's definitely unconventional flavors yeah. in uh, a weeded bourbon. Totally, I didn't unique. get any baking spices on that. I usually get a lot of baking yeah. spices on weeded bourbons. No, this is totally unique uh, bourbon. I don't think that we've had anything that kind of stacks up to mm, Ragged no. Branch and like the uniqueness of it. Not really, no. So Pinhook maybe, but that's yeah. completely... Yeah, 180 another, flavor. Another you know. side, yeah. Yeah. Um, score it. Um, 
I'm probably going to go an 86. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to meet you at an 86. Yeah. Why did you give it that, though? Um, not quite 90 level. I mean, this would be like, do you know how much that bottle is? 35 bucks. 35 30, bucks. 35 bucks, okay. This would be a good go-to. Like, if you're, like, yeah. you go to weeded bourbon. Yeah. If you want something a little, like, more than, like, a larceny or something, yeah, you know. This is sure. a lot more fragrant, a lot more floral. Oh, definitely. Way, I would say, like, larceny at this point to us is probably, like, a... a basic-ass like weeded 80, bourbon. Maybe max 80 on the score. I, yeah. But this is, this is miles ahead of larceny in quality, I think, and in, in flavor. Right, um, and the full pro profile of it is just, I think, all around better product mm -hmm. for sure. I think it meets Weller pretty, pretty well when it comes to like yeah, I think how good it is. Yeah, it's different; sure. it's a lot more different than for it sure. is. But I think it's just as good. Yeah, for sure. Maybe it's better. Good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I had some Weller 107 last night, and then I went to this. Mm -hmm. Weller 107 is more butterscotchy, and this is just—I mean, this is a totally different flavor profile. It is. But I think it's... they do match. Yeah. Pretty well together. It's good. Yeah. I would love to see a barrel proof of this. That'd be good. Just full notes, like no stopping. I think it'd bring out more of the uh, richness. For sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Sure. Uh, we're talking to uh, you, Alex. Send us some barrel proofs. Yeah. You guys got to hit it here soon, man. It's This stuff's too good. Do they have a barrel proof? They were working on that rye, uh -huh. which they sent us a sample of. Remember, that was full caramel. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, but no, they... Um, they don't have any barrel proofs yet. Gotcha. Get on so, that, guys. For sure. Missing a market. Yeah. Uh, As always, uh, subscribe. Yes. Like, comment below. I have one thing really quick. You can't get Ragged Branch in your state. Potomac Wines and Spirits in Washington, D.C. ships all over the country. So if you want to get a bottle of this, this is 35 bucks. Shipping was $28. So you might as well just... Buy in bulk. Uh, yeah. You know, get whatever you need, try them all. Because at least if you try them all and you like them, you can you know, keep buying more. Yeah. Do they sell samples online? Uh, they do or not. just the full bottles? Full okay. bottles, yeah. yeah. I would say worth it, though, in my opinion. Yeah, at least get buy one of them yeah, just I to would, see what, you know, what they're about. You for know? sure. We'll have more Ragged Branch reviews coming out. You'll yeah. see them from time to time. Yeah, that's where you bought all yours, right? Yep, you all get, of them. Yeah, you got like and five came, different bottles. They so. came in a nice freaking white styrofoam thing that holds bottles it's designed for bottles so That's nice. they are gonna arrive safely trust me I'm not, <laughs> they're not gonna go anywhere so nice. um yeah subscribe. subscribe subscribe watch our videos give us a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it whatever uh doesn't hurt our feelings unless you leave some mean comments then i might cry myself to sleep at night <laughs> but like me i don't give a shit but... any other thing all right we'll see you guys in our next review peace, peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Here's a couple more down below that you might enjoy. And we also have hundreds of more videos on the channel for you to check out. We also have a podcast that you might like. It'll be linked in the description. And come join our Discord server where we join uh, other people talking about whiskey, whiskey related topics. It's just called the Whiskey Warehouse. And thanks for watching again. And make sure to subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.